Forget ordinary family vacations. Want something more extraordinary? Our final out of this world adventure will leave your brat pack begging for more. But you'll need a treasure chest to pay for it. We basically do the fantasy stuff, and if you want it and your checkbook can match it, then we put it together. Steve Sims of Bluefish Concierge says if you got a fat wallet and an imagination, the sky is the limit. Some of the things that we've done for families, arranging for a family to actually go backstage to the Jonas Brothers. We've had clients doing a mock dog fight over the Mojave Desert in two L-39 military jets. So how do you top those? We have a family going to see the Titanic next year for the 100th anniversary, and that's pretty cool. And he's not talking about Titanic on the big screen. This is a rare family trip to explore the world's most famous ship, on the centennial of her sinking. More people have actually been in space than gone down to the Titanic, so there's the big exclusivity. The price? A mind-blowing $57,000 per person. I personally think that's a, a, a valuable vacation to go on and economical. The Taylor family from Newport Beach, California has safari Botswana, vacation in Mozambique, They've even scaled the sacred grounds of Machu Picchu in Peru. My dad's never been one to like want to go to Italy. He's always kind of gone for the crazy trips. So next year, Wynn, an aspiring marine biologist and her dad, will go where few have gone before, to the frigid depths of the Atlantic to see the Titanic. I've never been 12,000 feet underwater in a deep sea submersible. I mean, it's just insane. The mighty voyage begins in Newfoundland, Canada, where father and daughter will set sail on board a Russian research vessel. No frills, no five-star service, just the adventure of a lifetime. We're staying on a boat with a lot of scientists and lecturers, so it's going to be great and we're going to learn a lot too. 365 miles off the Canadian coast, the ship will anchor above the luxury liner's final resting spot. The Taylors will then board this 25-foot-long, pressurized deep-sea submersible for the two-and-a-half-mile dive into the abyss. I know that the quarters are very, very tight, and there's just going to be three of us on the submersible. Hopefully, I won't get scared of the closed quarters. At 2,000 feet, the sub descends into total darkness, and the tiny viewport goes black. I read that sometimes the captain of the submersible turns all the lights off just to conserve power. Cold, dark, scary, and yes, I do really want to go. After three hours of dark, heart-pounding anticipation, the captain fires up the sub's large halogen lights, and a wall of rusted steel emerges out of the darkness. The giant boilers, the grand staircase, even portholes all tarnished by the power of Mother Nature. Wynne and her dad will spend three hours gliding over and respectfully exploring the ghostly wreckage. I hear that you can see shoes and you can see glasses and that haven't been touched in a hundred years and it's just crazy to be able to see stuff like that. This ultimate family adventure seems like something out of a movie, only better. If I had the chance to meet Leonardo DiCaprio or go visit the Titanic, I would have to say sorry, but I'm going to go visit the Titanic. At $57,000, it's a Titanic price, but worth its weight in gold for an up-close look at history. Thank you, Dad. This is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime trip, and I can't wait to go.